We're at the 2024 Los Angeles Auto Show. Behind me, the global debut of the Hyundai Ioniq 9 three-row all-electric SUV. It's part of our new entry in our award-winning Ioniq family of vehicles. We launched the Ioniq 5, the Ioniq 6. Those were all world cars of the year. And now we have our new Ioniq 9 that we're debuting today. It's our first family three-row EV SUV. And you can see it in front of you today, the impressive advanced design, the presence that this SUV has, and beyond what you see in terms of the presence is impressiveness is the things that matter to EV buyers, such as the range. So every version of this Ionic 9 will have over 300 miles of range. And it's backed by our eGMP platform, which is our dedicated EV platform that has in the mainstream market the only 800 volt charging system. So DC fast charging, is really quick with this vehicle. These are all key things, I think, that buyers of EVs and buyers of SUVs are resonating too. I'm hearing it's true to concept because we did see a concept here at the LA show not long ago. Yes, we did. We, you do remember we had the seven concept and you can see that the basic design of this vehicle really has made it to production. It has an advanced, bold look and the presence. And I know what you're probably really interested to see as well is the interior of this vehicle. What you're going to see is how usable it is, how it really caters to the family, the space of the vehicle, first, second, and third row space. And when, even with the third row up, it has really impressive cargo space behind the third row. So higher than that of our key competitors. These are all key things that really resonate with our consumers. Obviously, when we talk about EVs, the advanced tech is another big story behind this vehicle. But what about charging compatibility, which has been an issue that, you know, Tesla has their own and everybody seems to uh, not have a universal uh, charging. Uh, we started with our 25 mod year Ionic 5 product enhancement. So we moved from the CCS to the NAX uh, charger port. And the Ionic 9 will also have the NAX charger port, so it'll have access to the full Tesla supercharging network. And I think one thing you hinted about is in our relationship with Iona, which is a consortium of OEMs that's really building these really vast network of chargers, also uh, fast chargers. So if you think about the combination of Tesla and the Iona, Electrify America, and ChargePoint, we're really going to have a great solution for EV owners. Uh, where do you think alternative uh, fuels are headed? Well, you know what, the way we look at this space is really with the long-term vision. So we know that if you think about the consumer journey, everyone's at a different phase. Everyone's at a different point in their electrification journey. And what we're really proud to say is that we have a solution for them, whether they're looking for an ICE vehicle, a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, a full dedicated EV, even a hydrogen vehicle as a concept that we've shown here today as well. And we even talked about eRev, which are, is a future powertrain solution that really addresses the needs of buyers and those who are maybe a little hesitant to get into the EV space. So yeah. The home charger uh, thing is kind of, I mean, I saw three trucks uh, in front of a neighbor's house getting a 220 put in. So, for example, we have our Hyundai Home Solution where you can work with our dealer partners. You can actually get a level two charger system installed in your home, even a full solar panel system to support the needs of your vehicle. And in the case of the Ionic 9, you could use it almost basically as a battery source. So we're talking vehicle to grid. You're able to actually power your home using the Ionic 9. All right, uh, I test drive a lot of cars and there's voice, there's touch screen, and there's hard knobs. Uh, where do you stand on all that? <laughs> The way we see it is that we also understand where consumers are, and we know that for the most intuitive experience, you do need to have hard buttons. We have looked at our own research and our consumer feedback. As you'll see on this vehicle, it does have a set of dedicated hard buttons for the most used features. This is something that we clearly see from consumers, yet it does have the advanced features and customization you expect in a high-tech vehicle like this. So really, we're giving you the best of all these worlds. How serious is the hydrogen? Hydrogen for us, I think we have a long-term vision for that as well. I think you see the intent, especially with us showing a concept today. We have our Nexo, uh, which was the first hydrogen SUV in the market space. So we see that as potentially a long-term alternative as well. Ionic 9, what's the price? When does it go on sale? So price is going to be announced, so we're going to have to stay tuned for that. We expect it to see it in showrooms probably by uh, late spring.